In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the mystery of Jesus' gift of himself to us, his very body, blood, soul, and divinity, given for our eternal life. So as we begin this liturgy, let us reflect on what keeps us from allowing this gift of God to transform our own lives. Lord Jesus, you are the body and blood given for the life of the world. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the living bread come down from heaven. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and 12 pillars for the 12 tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls, the other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the Book of the Covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, 
passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant. Since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off entered the city and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them and said, take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. In the year before I began my studies for the priesthood, back in 1993-94, I was uh, stationed uh, as the director of music for Holy Family Parish in Peoria, Illinois. And one of the things that I did when I began my ministry there, I put an ad in the bulletin asking for any, um, anybody from the parish that had instrumental capabilities or vocal capabilities to come forward and, and try out for the music ministry of the parish. And there was a woman who came forward and, and she was Presbyterian. Her husband was Catholic. And she said, would you accept a Presbyterian flute player? I said, by all means, you know, we're all God's children. Sure, come on in there. And what's interesting is that she, um, and she had a great devotion to our Blessed Mother. It was very interesting. She understood Mary's role in salvation history. She understood Mary as a, a great intercessor. 
and someone that she prayed the rosary uh, in, in her honor. And, and just uh, she was very solid and very wholesome in her Marian devotion. But she said, the one thing that I have a problem with the Catholic Church is that I, I have a problem right now accepting that the Eucharist is really Jesus, body, blood, soul, and divinity. She saw it in, in, her, in her Protestant tradition as a symbol and a sign, and, but had a problem in that it was really the body and blood of Christ. And, and I told her, I says, you know what? I says, uh, I says don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. Because if you have a devotion to our Blessed Mother, her job is to bring everybody to her son. Just stay close to Mary and it will happen. And so she continued to play at Mass. She was a wonderful flautist. And, uh, but she still had that difficulty with accepting Jesus' real presence in the Eucharist. Well, then I was there just for the year, and then I began my studies for priesthood. And then I found out later that she had joined the RCIA program. And she studied, and she listened, and she prayed. And the following year, she was confirmed in the Catholic Church and received the Eucharist because she knew, she knew and understood and believed that it was Jesus' real body, blood, soul, and divinity. Like he said in the Gospel today, this is my body, this is my blood. And so at the time before, she didn't have that gift of faith uh, to accept the Eucharist, but then she was given that gift of faith, full faith. You know, St. Th uh, Thomas Aquinas said, to one who has faith, no explanation is necessary. But to one without faith, no explanation is possible. And remember, faith is the gift of God, that God gives us the faith. So for those of us, we do accept that this is Jesus' body, blood, soul, and divinity. Certainly we do. And we can only believe that because God has worked in our life. And God helps us then to remain steadfast in this faith of his real presence when we celebrate the Eucharist. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We make our needs known to a loving God who nourishes us with the living bread for life everlasting. For God's holy church, may an increase in priestly vocations make it possible for all of the faithful to partake of the Eucharistic banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For officials elected to public office, may they enact legislation to combat the evil of racism while promoting the dignity of all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, as the body of Christ alive in the world, may we seek to be bread that is broken and wine that is poured out on behalf of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, for those who suffer during these trying times, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you gave us your only Son as the living bread come down from heaven. Hear our prayers that as we share in his body and blood, we also share in his promise of eternal life. 
We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a verbal greeting of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May our loving God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.